Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practiced and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearer arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising stack piling. She got her own money. We just high-fiving sexual organs. Because that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use Land con, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. I know you got the oh, I know you've been waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting. Let them all fucking go. Yo. Season 2 on the way, I told you niggas sit back in the meantime, roll the hay. I know you thinking, damn, where he been at so long in the trenches, trying to get my motherfucking badges, like my name is Ash Ketchum. I catch him all, and you know I'm never slacking, I let him go, cause I am a humanitarian, and Pokemon might as well be a human, I hit the blunt cause I almost forgot, man. <laughs> my bad, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. See, I wasn't going to wear this, and I probably still shouldn't because it is so hot in this bitch. What's up, y'all? I am Lord Shu X, and you're watching another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. This is the second time I'm streaming today. So today is a lucky day, but that's because it's Saturn Day, the Sabbath. I'm in Sabbath mode right now. If you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, it's right below my face, my beautiful pink and purple face. There's so many awesome things on there. I got uh, I got a bunch of music links. I got links to product, and I actually got some of the physical products here. I showed this in the last post. These are notebooks from 1111. Her uh, her link is on on the website as well. This is just one of the books. I got another one. This is my favorite one because it got elephant on it, and that's just my uh, homie. And also, elephants are my spirit animals and positive vibes only. I ain't with that fuck shit. Also, jewelry on Tevnet Archive is 50% off. All the jewelry, everything on there. So, yeah, you should definitely get on the website. Cop some for your, your lady or your dude because we got stuff for men and women on there. All right, I done got the shameless plugs out of the way for sure. Now, what's good, y'all? What's been happening? What's up? What y'all been up to? I know this is the second time I've been on here today, so y'all like, what the fuck? What's good? Y'all tell me some shit. I'm the one that's always talking. <laughs> now nah, let me stop bullshitting. Yep, it is Saturn Day. It's a lot going on in space, man. And it's affecting the cool people. Only the cool people, though. <sighs> Only the cool people. I just been, I've been really like digging deep into my uh, into my crafts today. I woke up like two o'clock this morning. I don't know how I'm fully functional, but then I went back to sleep and I woke up again at like seven o'clock. And after that, I just like got straight in the shower and I was like, bro, I gotta wake up cause I gotta make these beats and I gotta get on this. Well, first I gotta make these beats and I gotta finish this magazine, and I gotta figure out how I'ma sell all these products to y'all so that y'all can get this new hot shit that I, new, more hot shit. Yeah, I was trying to bring out some more hot shit. So, yeah, that, that's pretty much what today's been about. Just getting, getting on my shit, man. Well done. The universe really been opening up some portals for your boy. It's been feeling nice. Today was a good day. I just wish I could say the same for everybody in the world, but I can only speak for myself. But for all those people that felt like they didn't do enough today, hey, you did what you had to do. You did what you're supposed to do today. All right? 
Don't worry about no fucking bad lines, none of that shit. Because fuck it. We all fuck up sometimes. I be fucking up sometimes, shit. So don't let it get in your head, man. Just, just get your rest on. Because I got to take time. I had to take about 20, 30 seconds to rest today. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, I did wake up at 2 o'clock this morning. For no fucking apparent reason at all. But that's what it takes, man. Sometimes that's what it takes. Is just taking a break. And just chilling. You ain't got to fucking run yourself into the ground. Try to appease to some bonehead nigga named Lord Shoot X. I can't tell you what to do, man. You gotta do what works for you. You feel me? Sometimes life be having people going all crazy and shit. It's cool, you know. That's if that's how you moving. Cool. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna stop you. There's some people just don't. They don't have to do that shit, man. Plus, it's easier ways to doing things most of the time, anyway. Just a little bit of organization. <laughs> having a plan and sticking to it and you pretty much don't really have much else to worry about except all that extra shit that you be creating for yourself don't don't do that don't create the extra shit man because you'll learn firsthand from lord shoe x that extra shit will have you sad and looking stupid and wishing you hadn't said what you said well and then you'll be like damn i need to beat my own ass as much as i be want to beat other people's ass i need to beat my own ass so be aware, my people. That's my advice to you. <laughs> Be aware. But yeah, you know, nothing too crazy in the, the atmosphere. I got a lot of shit done today. I can't wait to share it with y'all. 609 seems to be a special number. I don't know why this shit keeps coming back up into my life, but obviously, I don't know. I'm, I'm doing something from the heart. Straight from the heart, you know what I'm saying? Straight from my, from my love sector. And I don't even have like no crystals like that. I just, uh, I got some Laboradite, Labradite, Laboradite. You see my face right like I don't know what the fuck I'm even trying to say. It's a crystal though that I have. Um, my runes, I use runes as a divination tool. I just recently got into runes because I have uh, European blood in my body. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, if I'm, if I'm gonna tap into spirit, I'm gonna tap into all of spirit because spirit is universal. Spirit isn't just to one type of people or person. Spirit is a universal concept and all people have ancestors and just so happened that although these people force their ancestors upon me, they're still my ancestors and I still have to pay homage and respect to them because they want to see me win just as much as all my ancestors want to see me win. So I tap into all of them because they all had to do something for me to be here. I'm here. So, and that's a great thing. So <laughs> me being here is, that's what you want. You want me to be here because who's going to tell y'all these great things? Who's going to give y'all these lovely information? It ain't gonna be Charlie Brown. That bald headed motherfucker. It's gonna be Laura Shoe X with these long, luscious locks. I look like damn Samson. You feel me? The king. You know what I'm saying? This what you need. You feel me? I know uh, some of these people that get on here, I don't know what they look like, but I know what I look like. And I ain't gonna lie. I'm beautiful. <laughs> and the fact that I got information and I'm beautiful, it's like a double whammy. It's like double jeopardy. You know what I'm saying? Shit is fucking awesome. So, you know, I just want to thank all y'all before I get deep into this stream. I want to thank everybody who watched these streams. Please, please, share these with your friends. Share these with your family members. There's some potent information in here. Also, um, if you have Twitch or if you want to see when I get online, because I don't really post on my social media anymore when I go live, I want y'all to interact with your boy. Get on Twitch. Make you an account and show some support, show some love to Lord Shoe X because I get on here every motherfucking day except Sunday to show love to y'all and to drop these bombs from space. Okay, so please make a Twitch account, subscribe to your boy's channel, 
Turn on the notification so you know when I'm going live, all right? Now, let's get into this shit. So, Saturn Day. Man, I got some fire-ass information from someone who I admire as a... She basically follows the left-hand path, but she also follows many paths because she's like a real live, like... I don't even know what to call her. I would call her a high priestess, honestly. She is a true high priestess. She follows all the paths. And actually, let me see if I can find her YouTube channel. Because I really want y'all to watch this lady's YouTube. Like, if you, y'all be like, oh man, shoot, I want you to talk deep about uh, spirituality and shit. I told y'all. I already told y'all. And look, Weeda, oh my God. See, I got so much information, bro. I really could drop on y'all. Like, the kingdom of Judah and where the kingdom of Judah or... Uh, where the tri the 12 tribes are from The 12 tribes are from Africa Let's just be keep it funky But where the kingdom of Judah The, the kingdom Of the Jews The Israelites Because these Jews are Ashkenazi Jews Not the, the actual I'm going to just call them Israelites So where the actual Israel Or the kingdom of Judah is is And Weda or Benin The uh the slave coast is what it used to be called. So every person who has this skin in America or who has this skin in their family and it comes from, well, there's two types of people that's here. Um, you got the natives who already were here and then you got the people that got transferred here due to a transatlantic slave trade. The kingdom of Weda, Judah, Weda, what is now known as Benin or where uh, they worship snakes at or the home of voodoo or uh, voodoo but that's all I'm that's all I'm going into I'm a I'm gonna look for this ladies um there there's actually three YouTube channels that y'all can fuck with if y'all really into this deep shit and y'all trying to break out the matrix and you a native or you just a human who want to help natives or you just a smart ass motherfucking human I got some shit for y'all last. But first, let me find this this lady's channel that I be watching, man. Cause she really the shit, yo. Matter of fact, let me see if I can. She about the closest thing to somebody that I would like have in a squad. Like if I had a squad of like spiritual leaders, she would definitely be one of my high priestess in the squad. Cause this lady is fire as fuck. And she an older lady. I love older ladies, man. Cause they so nice. And they always got the, the fucking knowledge, bro. And they ain't on that bullshit. They was some no nonsense shit, bro. If I can just find this damn lady. Too far. I don't think I went too far. Uh, anyways, what's good, y'all? <laughs> let me let me talk to y'all while I'm looking for this, cause I'm just like like just sitting here, just looking lost as fuck. So basically, what this lady was talking about was how. Well, first yesterday I was telling y'all about how Saturn. It, and Jupiter are, is affecting the planet Pluto because Pluto is five degrees in Capricorn. At least it was a few days ago. Now, with uh, with this happening, the generations. Well, Pluto is. It takes forever to go around the Earth, so it's very slow moving. So it takes a generation for Pluto to actually like get close to our planet and take effect. Now, when that type of shit happens with the generations, it's making our generation and all generations work towards um, stability on like a, a real like a father and crone mother level because uh, the Saturn is the crone mother. And I was explaining this yesterday. So if you want to know more about what I'm talking about now, you can watch my previous stream before this. But that mothering energy, which is, is crazy how the new moon is in Cancer. Five degrees, Pluto and Capricorn. Like, all these things dealing with mothering energy during this time period. Like, 
Y'all see how the universe is working, working with itself to try to get more people on a loving frequency. And we dealing with heart energy as well. So on top of that, you got all this going on in space, making people work more towards uh, cutting out, like creating good boundaries and dealing with family and uh, helping, help, like helping you see family from a different perspective where it can benefit you, but also not uh, confuse you. Cause sometimes when you like trying to do shit for your family and not everybody the same, like certain people will try to get under your skin and shit like that. So this, these astral energies are helping you to be able to properly handle that shit and also um, do things in a practical way. So instead of like emotional and practical way, but like being, um, how I would call it is actually this room, the room AWAS, and I'm gonna type this down. So AWAS is the room, I get this room a lot. And basically I had a, uh, I had a video about this on my YouTube a long, long time ago, y'all. When I was like first started doing YouTube, I had made like probably four videos before I started really doing uh, Keys to the Island, which was, it was like my vlog for my travels and shit. And, you know, just kind of keeping up with what I was doing. I'm still trying to find this lady video. But AWAS is mind body connection, which you achieve this through meditation, aligning your thoughts with with your actions so if you're thinking about doing something um that can benefit you potentially you taking practical steps and you aligning your mind and your heart with those actions basically manifestation but my mind body connection is what made jesus in the bible uh conscious and making him realize that he is god and the son of god so uh Connecting with those energies, put, in, put uh, him in a different mindset and a mind frame of realizing that I'm not separate from the, I'm not separate from spirit. And that was basically what he was realizing and he had to tell everybody because when you a dirty homeless guy walking through the earth, you know, like what you, eventually you're going to figure this out. Like, damn. It's me, but I I am not separate from these things around me. I am a part of these things. So Saturn is working its energy on the indigo children, rainbow children, all, all the different uh, light workers in the different generations, because that's what Pluto represents is those different generations, but on a spiritual level, because only people who know what's going on and, uh, take the time like mostly light workers are the people that go into looking for occult information and figuring out how to utilize that in their life so that's that's one thing that really is like taking off right now and most people are using this energy to benefit them right now and you should also but i can't tell you what to do all i can do is let you know that it's even happening because a lot of people actually don't know that um, this is happening in space right now. Most people are just keeping up with the Joneses or just, you know, going about their life. This really isn't important to them, but realizing that you can use these astral energies to make life easier and move shit into um, a different dimension. Because like I said, on uh, I had a stream I did maybe three days ago. Well, I was talking about how um, when you align with these energies and you start to realize that you're a multi-dimensional being, but that you're also living all these dimensions at one time. So it's easy to get caught up with like the shit that's going on in the world. But you got to remember also that if you're multi-dimensional, right, right, that means that you're living and existing in different realms all at one time, simply by your thought processes your actions, how you feel, just the basic shit. No, nothing super deep. Like, you don't have to be astral traveling and fucking, uh, you know, seeing people's auras and having psychic powers and shit like that. Like, you don't have to have all that to do the basic shit. 
like aligning with these energies. Most people who uh, align with these energies normally just use basic as like rituals. They do basic ass rituals. Like they'll go outside and write all the things that they want on a piece of paper during the new moon and they burn the shit. Then they'll like, I don't know, dance under the moon. They'll leave some crystals out under the moon. They charge it with that or they'll make moon water and shit like that. So people do, you know, basic rituals. It don't gotta be nothing too deep because you taking the effort. All it really is is you making the effort to align yourself with those energies. And then it like the universe meets you halfway. That's how that shit works, honestly. You do one thing, the universe meets you halfway. So it's not like a super, you know, super woo. I hate that word, but people call spirituality woo and shit like that. But it's not like super woo like that. Like I told y'all on this channel, I'm keeping shit hair level, okay? We ain't going, we ain't even going under the skin. We on the hairs, like the little hairs on here that you pluck off and shit. I know like some of the girls, they get them like wax, they wax they shit off, like, all that shit. But I'm not going deeper. I'm really not going too much deeper than this. Cause it's pretty easy. It's just like uh, when you go out in the sun and you play all day in the sun and oh, I'm getting sunlight, you getting vitamin D. But you also receiving light codes at the same time through the vitamin D, like basic shit. You don't even gotta do nothing like super, super deep like that, man. So don't think that you can't align yourself with these energies. All you gotta do is just go outside and just sit in a chair and just watch the animals play and just breathe really deep all the air around you. And just really connect, you know what I'm saying? Connect with nature and you automatically align yourself with these energies. Because remember, if Earth is like you, if you're like the planet Earth, you're both astral bodies in your own way. And you're going outside and you connecting with Earth. Earth is receiving these same energies. She actually around the motherfucking planets. We're on a planet. She be she orbits and moves and dances with these planets. So all you got to do is go out there and just vibe with planet Earth and she going to give you the downloads. The, that's the easiest way, honestly. Go outside, chill in the sun, chill at nighttime under the moon, be on the Earth, vibe with the Earth. You're going to get these actual energies with, with ease. You ain't even got to do nothing crazy. You know what I'm saying? Or some people even ground during these times. Like they go outside barefoot and shit like that. So... Yeah, this is this is easy stuff, y'all. You know, I ain't even trying to give you nothing too too deep, super deep like that. I'm still looking for this lady's video, bro. This video can't be this old because I watched it not that long ago. Damn, bro. I wonder if she deleted it, trying to like keep it hid or something. <laughs> Why would she do that? Look, I'm at two weeks ago right now. Like, I don't. There's no reason for me to be this far back. All right, hold on, y'all. See if I can't find this shit. Let me take my time. Let me take my time with it. I can't do too much, love. I'm on the time limit. And when I want to drop shit, bitch, I drop shit. Just like how I do these videos. Bitch, if I want to drop shit, bitch, I drop shit. <laughs> Man. This shit crazy, y'all. Like, right now, the biggest thing that I'm willing to to work towards achieving the world famous shoe pro in these times is for this channel this album, to be a testament ticket, to my life right now because like, i could point, just be like i could just be on here but really I mean, just like thought, talking right? about some mundane shit like say. hey y'all welcome to fucking oh uh, yeah, I forgot. Buy these popsicles on something. Like, nah, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to be on some real shit. Like, I'm trying, I'm trying to give y'all this, this knowledge so that y'all can take it and do something with it. Because I ain't finna do shit, dude. I want all my witches and my warlocks on this bitch. Like, oh, this nigga dropping a bomby bomb. He dropping bomb bomb. 
But yeah, back to Awaz. So, Awaz is the horse. Now think about it like this: mind body connection, so a rider and their horse. I feel like some of y'all can relate with this. You got your horse, right? You trust that horse because you have to ride this horse across lands and lands. You know what I'm saying? You you trust in this horse to keep you safe. You know. Um, you feed the horse. The horse gets you to where you're trying to go. Making sure that you take care of your horse. You cleaning the horse. You brushing the horse. You know what I'm saying? You ain't tiring the horse out. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying, like, right now, it's about this. It's about this mind, and this third eye really, and this heart, and bringing them together. Now, when you when these are together, this is when you achieve greatness. See, right now, past few days, my shit was like. But now my shit like this, because first I'm thinking about what I'm trying to achieve. And I know within my heart, that's my passion. I have to know that, you have to know it, because this is the real brain. So you gotta know it in here first, before you know it in here. Because this is what really be fucking you up. Like your heart's like, hey man, it's all right. That's why you feel bad, because your heart know you feeling bad. Your heart more empathetic than you are. That's why you even feeling shit. So your heart's gonna be like, oh man. I just feel so shitty because your thoughts. So when this shit is off, this is what's gonna fuck this brain up. Cause this the real brain. This what this what gets you through when you in the scary movies when niggas be like, I don't feel this doesn't feel right. So this nigga leaves and then all the rest of the crew dies, but this nigga lives. It's this man. When this shit is right. All you gotta do is make a little effort, have a little bit of positive thoughts, a faith of, that's why they say having the faith of a mustard seed. You can have faith in here. Your heart already got faith. This will fuck up the faith. Your heart already got that shit. So when you start thinking stupid shit, this shit is like, wait, what, what is this nigga doing? Why you, what the fuck? Like I already got you straight, bro. You already in alignment. You doing the shit you supposed to do. Like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to fucking lead you, bro. I'm trying to lead you there. But then your thoughts be like, man, I gotta, I gotta do this, man. Fuck, I gotta do that. Man, what what if somebody, what if this, what if that? Like, that, that fucking, like, monkey brain? That's what I call it, the fucking monkey brain. When you got that monkey brain, bro, that's when you assed out. Because then you just start doing stupid ass shit, man. You start sulking. And then the, the heart just be like, man, fuck it. I feel bad for this nigga because I can't make I can't make the brain I can't make this brain do like what the fuck is supposed to do I can't make this shit happen like you gotta change your thoughts because your consciousness is only the, the only reason you feel like this change this shit bro because once you change it consciously subconscious automatically aligns back to that and then you able to dream again you able to fucking astral travel again you're able to do all the shit that you could do before you start thinking like a like a little bitch, basically. So make sure that your heart is is fucking taken care of by your thoughts. Your thoughts have to cradle the heart. Hey, it's okay, baby. It's okay, I got you. Heart got through your heart gotta cradle the motherfucking thoughts because Eventually, one minute you fucking living like your best life, and the next minute you like, I don't want to be here no more. Like, y'all be seeing how I be going through it. Only reason I go through that is because I'm not trusting my heart, and that's where I fuck up. My heart give me the answer before my brain do. I just take, it take my brain a minute to get the point. That's why it, meditation. Meditation is going to stop the monkey brain, y'all. I meditate this morning. When I got up, like, I, I hit my girl at first, but then I meditated, like, damn, I need to get my mind right, because I'm fucking up right now. Once I did that shit, everything was good. It wasn't shit to a G, but the, it wasn't shit to do, like, to it, but to do it. It wasn't, 
nothing more than that. Everything else was extra because I started seeing how all the other shit was extra. Like any any information that I be going through is all that shit's extra. I'm trying to get straight to the point, man. What what is the purpose? What we doing? You know what I'm saying? It's nothing more than that. It shouldn't be nothing more than that. But you know how I be, bro. You get caught up in all that extra shit, and then before you know, you just like fuck. I done got sauced up, boy. I done got, I'm a noodle right now. I'm in the spaghetti sauce just bubbling like a motherfucker right now. But yeah, it can be tough, man. But that's why I'm here for y'all, bro. Hit me up, man. If you ain't been to my website, shoeloveswebbles.com, hey, you should go to it because that's where your boy really be at. If I ain't on fucking Twitch, I'm in that motherfucker. And I got some surprises coming soon, but I can't wait. I can't motherfucking wait to show y'all this shit. I've been working on this shit for a minute, bro. Like, one part of my project took me seven years. Just about. Other part of my project, I recorded Depressing the Foreign in 2015 to 2017. I put it out in 2018. That was the last project I did. I had, I dropped two projects at the same time though. So it wasn't like I just didn't drop a shit ton of music when I did drop it. Like I put two projects out, not to mention I had like over 50 songs that I dropped on my first project. So I was just like, man, I'm gonna let people vibe on these for a minute before I just hit them with this new shit. By the time I hit y'all with that new shit, boy, boy, depressing the form was a breath of fresh air for people. Cause they was like, damn. This man over here dropping goddamn full one track playlist. But I had to, man. I had to drop this playlist because the main thing that I wanted to do with my music was to create a vibe, like a feeling, like a story. And I tell this story pretty well. Like, it's not something that I'm just, why is this shit saying two weeks, man? Oh my God, bro, I am still trying to find this lady's video and I am having like no luck, y'all. Y'all, send me your energy, man. Send me a spirit bomb. Help me find this video because this shit right here, it's what y'all need. Some tell me she deleted this video, man. I don't think it's up here no more. Because I don't even remember her damn channel name. Let me see if I can find her channel name. Alright, so one one uh one channel that y'all should fuck with if y'all fucking with spirituality is my dog man. And I got his website in my book too. This guy is the motherfucking truth. Polo Ralph Lauren. <laughs> man, you know, Polo Ralph Lauren. It's actually a pretty decent brand. I'm not gonna say it's the greatest brand because I used to wear a lot of uh, polo in my early days when I was uh, first moving back here from Germany. I used to rock a lot of polo, man. I used to think I was damn big boy from uh, Outkast. Big boy used to wear a lot of um, a lot of polo. <laughs> but yeah, polo, Ralph Lauren, the Airwise, exactly. Airwise is like polo though. If you plan, if you plan that sport with your horse, man, you really got to be yo, the mind and the body. It's just like you and that horse. Y'all playing a sport. You controlling that horse like that's your legs. You know what I'm saying? Airwise. That that's actually a, a great description. Kangar J, appreciate that, man. I don't know if that's what you was talking about, but y'all check out my dog Amun Asha Renu. And welcome to the channel, King RJ. Appreciate you stopping in. I don't know if you're still in here or not, but appreciate that, bro. Well now, done. let's see if I can find this lady's channel, man. But yeah, my dog, uh, Asha Renu, is an astrologer. He is a tarot reader. And this dude is the truth when it comes to shit like this, also. This man is like adept. He pretty much like has his own spiritual path, like myself. 
but that's how most shamans are i don't know very many shamans who follow like a specific religion or spiritual path like we do them all which is why i'm trying to find this lady now man but i cannot find this lady man i feel like her channel got deleted i don't even see her shit on here no more she had a moon in her name also i believe a moon she is definitely a high priestess though she uh she pretty much has been doing i want to say she's been following spirituality for about 40 years bro like this lady's the truth that's why i'm trying to find this channel man damn i am not having no luck in this shit though i'm gonna do one good little scroll through man if i don't see this lady shit we just gonna get back to this uh Oh yeah, another lady that I'll be fucking with on the uh, sexual arts tip or like Tantra is uh, this lady is fine too. If y'all want to heal yourself from sexual trauma or any sexual blocks or you want to be more in love with yourself or get your self care down, um, my yard healing arts, she fired and she just did a live yesterday with um, Aurora, use your jab. I've been, I've been trying, bro. I've been, I've been, j I've been jabbing, bro. I don't know what else I can do out here, bro. Like, shit getting critical. Cause I'm really out here, really trying to find this shit, but I ain't having no luck with this, man. Damn, y'all, this shit whack. This shit really, really whack. <laughs> but yeah, my yard healing arts, yo. If you ain't heard, check her out. Cause she got that shit, boy. She got the, the good videos. Help you heal yourself. If you got a significant other, somebody you rocking with, or uh, you got you a little lady or a guy that you fucking with. She got you on that shit. Cause she gon' It's basically like watching her videos is kind of reminding me of this new moon and cancer. Like what you willing to put up with, what you're not willing to put up with. How how are you gonna connect to people and make your relationships better and deeper on um, more intimate? Her shit, her whole channel is about shit like that. So also, cause this this for those coming into the chat, I'm Lord Shoe X, and you watch another episode of Lord of Perspective Work. My website, Shoe Loves Rebels, right under my neck. Check it out. It's got all these products. We got jewelry on sale. We got these notebooks. I got a notebook right here. These are real notebooks. Use for your ascension process to help in keeping track of your thoughts. Because having monkey brain is what we're talking about right now. Monkey brain is, that's what's going to fuck you up. You don't want that shit. Because as soon, as soon as you, uh... As soon as you get out here and you start fucking with that shit, man, you ain't, you're not gonna get nowhere. So, it's time to focus up right now. This is what, this is what the Christ Consciousness Grid is fitting itself into the new reality. And everybody's talking about the age of Aquarius. That's what that is, the age of knowing. See, we were in the age of illusion, the age of I believe. But right now, we in the age of knowing. We know. We know the things instead of chasing ideals. We know these things now. So, to really tap into that energy of knowing, one must simply record their thoughts, review thoughts, but not get lost in them to the point where this is all that it is or you know what I'm saying? Because it's easy to do that shit. Like, trust me when I tell you. It, it's so easy to get lost in that shit. Man. But real talk. It ain't shit. It ain't shit that you can't do in this world. For real, for real. Bro, I think this lady's channel is gone. Like, I think her channel got deleted. Bro, I really hope not. Wow, I really hope not, man. 
that's like the truth, bro. Damn, that shit is whack as fuck. But man, I ain't gonna lie, she be on here talking about some real shit. That's why. Like she really be talking about some real ass shit, man. So it don't surprise me that her channel might have gotten deleted. Fuck, that's whack as fuck, man. Well, I tried, y'all. I tried to find this lady video, so I guess I'm gonna have to talk about it for her. So basically, she was talking about how Saturn or Saturday today is the true Sabbath because it relates to the Chrome Mother. Now, how Sunday became the Sabbath is because man took the wisdom of the high priestess and made it, they colored it over with the man crayon and gave it the image of the sun because the sun represents the father also represents male energy, masculine energy, well and the solar plexus chakra, which is what I was talking about yesterday. So, of course, it makes sense because that's that's our reality. Everything started with women. Literally, like the universe even started with women. And then the earth started with women because you can't create man without women. That's just what it is. And when no damn fucking ribs, like, I'm there's such thing as DNA splicing, which our ancestors actually knew how to do. It's written in pretty much every scripture that I've ever put my hands on to find, read every scripture. I done went through them all, and they all pretty much start out with women. So, I can see how information nowadays, because people, ignorance is bliss. So, people is not going to go and look for information like this on their own. But I just so happen to live overseas where there's a huge ass library full of information and also articles that you could look up. They used to have these little machines. You know, like you get these, these little, they look like a photo reel. You put it in this machine and then you just, there's these little knobs on the shot of the machine and you just roll it. And it show you articles from like 1700s, 1800s, 1900s. And you just go through them and just read the articles, right? And it just tells you shit that from those times, people can only speculate when they guess, right? See, I don't like to speculate shit. If, if I wanna know what's happening on uh, June 24th, 1912, I'm gonna go look for an article or a news article or something from that time talking about that date or based on that date. I'm not gonna guess like, man, I guess in 1912, everybody was dressing Victoria style. Nah, bro, I'm gonna go look up a magazine from 1912 because niggas was publishing shit back then. Books existed, y'all. You can go back in time and look up these articles. But that's what I did because I didn't have friends. I only had one friend named Jason, bro. He's this big dude. And I was a, a short person, so he was like my bodyguard. So when niggas used to fuck with me, Jason used to have my back. But I tried to take band right during this time period. It was like middle school, in the end of elementary, beginning of middle school. I was trying to be in band because I have a savvy for music. Like I'm an MC and I also produce music, which you can go to shoelovesrebel.com and check out my latest works. But this is what I do. This been I've been doing this since I was five years old. Like I had a singing group when I was in elementary school. I was in honor choir. I had all this shit. So. Music has always been in my life. My mom was a singer. She still sings to this very day. And my brother make music. My pop makes playlists. My grandma, she got vibes like a motherfucker on music shit too. So we just music oriented family. Whole family music oriented. Like my cousins were in band, shit like that. Like music been around me my entire fucking life to this very day. Like literally to this very day. So vibes ain't shit like i've been in that so i'm trying to get in band these niggas wouldn't let me in band for some fucking reason so i used to have to sneak to the band room and shit so jason used to like hold it down until i got cool with the band director so he used to let me come in there and i used to just play drums piano he used to just show me shit now tapping into them vibes that shit made me like understand a lot about spirituality as well and how spirituality math music all these things they work together in unison because they're all the same thing music is the vibration art is the colors so colors are actually music notes you can look this up the colors scheme the colors 
like primary colors, these are music notes. All the, the color spectrum are music notes. So when you look at the chakras, you're looking at physical manifestation of music or when you hear om, they have a color for om, right? Bam, lam, these, they have colors for these, right? Chakras, right? So always been in tune with that shit. And I knew that music, since I was young, if I couldn't speak every language, I was gonna try and learn how to make music because music is a universal language. I don't have to speak, like, it's people in Japan know the lyrics to uh, rolling down the street, smoking in dope, sipping on gin and juice, lay back with my mind up. It's people in Japan know that shit, okay? And they know it word for word. So it's it's not about right now it's not about separation. Right now it's about us coming together. And they making that information, not they. Spirit, Christ consciousness grid is making that information common. That's why on YouTube, all these spirituality channels, people wanna hate, people wanna be like, oh, I, I got tapped into an energy and it, and it was fucking with me. Like, bro, first off, these are someone else's ancestors you fucking with anyways. So what you think is gonna happen? You have your own ancestral line that you fucking with, okay? You should probably try and stick with them. See, I tapped into my ancestors. I tapped into my comedic ancestors and my Celtic ancestors. They have not fucked with me once. When I start fucking with other people's ancestors, I start fucking with Shiva and, and the Hindu gods and goddesses and shit like that. They come around me, so I'm good because they realize I'm a warlock. They come around me on their own. I don't go looking for these niggas. I knew from the jump. Mother Mary and uh, Mary de Guadalupe and all these, these deities, they come to me. I don't go looking for them. I Look, matter of fact, see, I'm doing shit I don't even normally do. Hold up. Hold up, y'all. I got something for y'all ass. Got something for that ass. Alright, so I tell this story that the first time I had my real, real spiritual encounter was a long time ago. I was I was a young dude. I was probably kindergarten or first grade, right? So but the first real experience I had, like where it scared me, was in when I moved to Germany. We stand in these things, these houses called temporary lodging facilities. But it was a house that was owned by somebody. And I remember the lady's name, her name was Petra. It was, it was, I think these were her cribs that we were staying in. But the first, like, first thing first is spirits was in that house, bro. And they used to fuck with me so bad to the point where I would just lay there all night and just cry. Cause these motherfuckers used to scare me so goddamn bad. Now, I had this, uh, once we got out of the TLF and we moved into our actual crib, they was fucking with me there too. I used to have dreams about Satan and all kind of shit and being an antichrist and all that shit. Now, when I fucking got in fifth grade, fifth or sixth grade, I had this teacher named uh, Miss Vasco Kima, Mrs. Vasco Kima. This lady, was the first person that taught me about Medu Netra, which is the language of the gods, or the hieroglyphics on the pyramids, and or on the temples in Egypt and all the cities that surround Egypt. Because remember, Egypt was a bunch of different capitals. You had Lower Egypt and Upper Egypt, and uh, Orion. Not Orion. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna call him by his real name. He's that comedic name, Osar. Osar is the one that brought peace to Upper and Lower Egypt and made Egypt a, a full country. Now, only I would even come in contact with comedic gods, or not even gods, these are in energetic family members that I, I am one of these members of the family, reborn. 
And that's all I'm gonna say about that, cause I know how people be like, man, this nigga crazy. Look, I didn't been through the the motherfucking trenches enough to know. Not to mention, I have way too many memories. Before before I even started going on my spiritual journey, I had these memories. So I'm gonna just leave it at that. But fifth grade, this is real papyrus, y'all. Okay. Now in fifth grade, this this came to me. This is Heru. This is the sun. I drew this in fifth grade. This is real papyrus. This ain't no this ain't no bullshit, okay? The Galactic Eagle. Now, sixth grade, I'm learning how to read Medu Netzer from a white lady. Which none of that matters. But the fact that she took the time out of her life to show me the culture that when I was living in America, they didn't teach me this shit. And I'll always be for grateful for that. And she was a Dutch lady. Not German. Dutch. She's from the Netherlands. If it wasn't for this lady, she's the reason my shit started. Officially. When when this nigga came into my life, this shit sent me on a, a never-ending quest of information. Never ending. Like, because of this picture right here. My motherfucking life changed because of this picture right here. I am I am Lord Shoot X because of this picture right here. And I drew and painted that, by the way. I know I'm such a great artist. But yeah. This shit sent me on a whole whirlwind journey that honestly has changed my life for the better and i still fuck with that lady like uh she ain't on my facebook but she used to be on my other facebook but she done taught a lot of kids bro and the she basically raised a generation now when people always talking about race and shit those people just be hating because they can't get it out on their own and they always feel like it's somebody holding them down but we live in a world where free will exists and if I can be a wizard and live my life and do what the fuck I want, anybody can. Anybody can do what the fuck they want anyway. You know what I'm saying? I'm just mad I can't find this lady's video. Like, I really think her channel got deleted, bro. This shit is crazy. Wow. Her shit really got deleted. Damn. And her, the last video she posted was about Saturn. That's whack. Well, Saturn day, today, the Chrome Mother speaks. And basically what she wants everybody to know is that now is the time. It's time to uplift each other. It's time to connect with each other. See, it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. And if we ain't getting closer together, creating this cosmic web as should eventually time will move on and it'll happen but why wait you know what i'm saying why wait the shit can happen now the shit can happen right the fuck now and before we know it y'all the world will be happy as it used to be now of course we know things go in cycles and what once was will be again. And what once is now, well, what is now will return to dust. And, you know, we should never get hung up on what's happening now or tomorrow or next week or any of that shit. We should definitely stay present because being present is how we're going to be able to um, ground the Christ consciousness grid into this planet. And honestly that's what we want we want love we want healing we want us to be more intimate with each other without judgment because that's what's that's what's gonna heal us all of us together getting healed is what we want right nobody wants to be hurt nobody wants to feel uh judged nobody wants to feel secluded lonely none of that shit so all it takes is having a good a good grasp on your chakras is the first step drinking plenty of water, 
making sure that you rest when necessary. You know what I'm saying? Don't be lazy. But if you feel yourself burnt out, don't keep pushing yourself. Relax. You know? Rest. Get rest. Rest is important. And stay in nature for a while. Go outside and watch the squirrels play. You know how peaceful that is? Just watching squirrels get nuts and playing and just relaxing. You know what I'm saying? Look at the, the lizards play and look for lizards and butterflies just fluttering through the air. And just take some deep breaths. Well just, done. Just breathe in that shit, man. Because that's what we want. I ain't going to say that the earth will be fully perfect and everybody will be oh peace love and happiness like look Atlantis ain't here no more and Atlantis used to exist 9,000 years before Plato's ancestors <sighs> he went to Egypt and learned about Atlantis Atlantis is no longer with us you wanna know why because people who live in Atlantis start feeling themselves. Everything goes in cycles. You get to a high point, and you get to the low point. Everybody's love and peace and high consciousness in the world with each other. And then all of a sudden, damn. You know, uh, you got a lot of knowledge, man. These new people coming into this country are pretty fucking stupid. Let's just start taking advantage of them and taking up all their resources. And now, from what my memory tells me about Atlantis is, of course, Atlantis was based on, you had Thoth. Thoth was the king of Atlantis. For those who don't know who Thoth is, if you know about the Greek gods, which they teach you more about the Greek gods in school than they taught you about uh Osiris, Isis, and uh, Horus, or Osar, Oset, and Eru. They teach you more about the Greek gods. The equivalent of those in the Greek pantheon would be Hermes. Hermes is the guy that has a little shoot, the little slippers, Jesus sandals with the wings on the back. Also, they, go, they have a cat named Apollo, but we just gonna fuck with Hermes, okay? Hermes Trismegistus. Hermes three times great. That means Thoth relived him. He lived again multiple times as different people. He lived again as Tahuti. Some say he lived again as Jesus. And he lived again as Hermes. And now he lives again as Melchizedek, from what scripture says. Now, Hermes was the king of Atlantis. He established Atlantis, and then he left Atlantis to go establish other kingdoms, like the kingdoms and uh, the Aztec and the Mayan. He helped start those kingdoms. Now, from what my memory serves me is Atlantis was, of course, a circle, had a centerpiece, and they dedicated it to uh, a water god. Now, and only to for protection. You know what I'm saying? Like how we have Oshun. In the Voodoo pantheon, you have Oshun. Now, when Hermes established his kingdom, it was based in love, high consciousness, and that was the point of it. And the people came because they seen all these high conscious leaders. Like, hey man, everything's cool here. Now, we was dealing, at the time, Mars was actually a, like a planet that you could live on. There, there was a, a point in history where, okay, so you have a soul, right? You have your vehicle also called the Merkaba, which is a, a vehicle that you use based on your heart energy or your Taurus field and the ether. Now, this was only something that you could do within yourself. Martians being masculine energies, Martians or graves because graves were on this planet a lot which is why they were recorded so much in our history because graves were out here like chilling it wasn't even about no hey man i'm just trying to fucking kidnap niggas and shit like that like graves are like all right this plane is inhabited by all things okay because this plane is endless 
what you see and what is told about you of the little circle of the world that you see is is created okay and that's all i'm gonna say about that but within this we used to be able to go outside of this this bubble and martian beings were trying to create merkabas outside of their fucking body so they were trying to create vehicles to basically travel dimensions and like like instantly like they were trying to like okay when you when you uh meditate right and you build a merkaba it's a light body uh, it's a light vehicle but you have to use your light body so you have to use mind body connection to connect with this light vehicle which is based in a heart energy and you have to align with the earth's energy because the earth's heartbeat is your heartbeat as well so the taurus field creates this merkaba now when you fucking get into the vehicle what the Egyptian pharaohs used to do, which they were women mostly, they go inside the pyramid, and inside the pyramid, which is made out of pink granite and also other granite, granite has metal in it. So when they send these vibrations from the water up underneath, because they have fresh water underneath, but they also have salt water as well. Now, all of this is a structure that actually creates Philosopher's Stone. But the actual Philosopher's Stone is you. A lot of people don't realize that also that you are the Philosopher's Stone. But the Philosopher's Stone itself can be created through a process as well. Now, these people get in this Merkaba and they tra they travel through dimensions, like having a DMT trip. And they go off into basically the ether energetic field and they like literally traveling through akasha they're not receiving downloads of akasha they're in the history of the planet physically time traveling so martians were trying to create markabas outside of their body so that people could get in them anytime without having to connect spiritually with it see the chrome mother is trying to make people remember hey uh, you might want to get involved with creating your own Merkaba within yourself. That's why you don't see graves like that on Earth. Most people who see them getting kidnapped by the ass and getting experimented on by the ass because they're trying to figure out human consciousness again. Because just like how we go through an arc of knowledge, every being in the universe goes through an arc of knowledge as well. So, what happened with Atlantis is. One part of Atlantis at some point ended up getting taken over by Martians. So they basically did like the Berlin Wall in Germany and they put a wall and they had a Russian sector, French sector, UK sector, and a German sector. But Martians had their Martian sector, light beings had their sector. So they end up, the light people end up moving to a new place. They had a place called Mu and Lemuria, all these other islands. That's why these places ended up existing. Because these light people that was started by Thoth end up moving to these other places. And once they got out of there, they end up starting yeah, trying to do different shit. Because they knew Martians were taking over their shit. Martian people start using their energy and all the knowledge that they had and end up destroying Atlantis, which is why it's not here no fucking more. Now, at the end of the day, why why I'm telling you this is because light body, ether. All these energies around us at all times, they're always around us. And how we connect with them is what's gonna make the difference in the long run. Right now, we're grounded in Christ consciousness grid into this planet. So, with this information, it'll give you insight a little bit into what I'm talking about. But this is why I say I don't go too deep on this channel. Because I start talking about the history of the planet, and it's hard to explain some of this shit because a lot of people only looking at shit on a surface level. They're not looking at shit like, oh, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get some damn food today. Like, fuck that, bro. You can actually live just by breathing. What got us into even eating food in the first place is because of money. Anyways, y'all, Lord Shoe X, y'all watching another episode of Lord Perfected Work. My website, shoelovesrebels.com. You can hit me up on Instagram, Facebook at Shoe Loves Rebels LLC. Appreciate y'all watching the stream. Y'all know I love y'all like I always say. I'm out this bitch.
sign out this bitch. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Holla.